joined by Coach Thor and our two student athletes. Coach, if you could please start us out with an opening statement regarding the game. Well, first, I, I definitely have to give um, Coach Richardson uh, uh, a kudos to her and her team. They did a phenomenal job uh, having a great run uh, this this year in conference. You know, finishing uh, second in conference is something that at, at one point was our goal. So definitely congratulations to them on their accomplishments that they had. Um, but, you know, it's it's tournament time and it's March. And, and I definitely say that these young women did a phenomenal job as far as preparing themselves uh, for tonight's contest. There was no doubt in my mind as a coach, and you know, sometimes you have that time, is your team actually ready? Um, but there's no doubt in my mind, no reservation at all uh, when we got on that bus to head to Birmingham that these young women, they were going to bring everything that they had because they felt like it was their time to, to prove to everybody what they were capable of doing. Appreciate those opening comments, Coach. We're going to first open it up for questions for our student athletes. If you would please raise your hand and identify yourself and then once we call upon you, feel free to ask your question. Tali? Uh, question for Ms. Beck. You picked up that third foul and then you had to sit for a while. Uh, talk about the process you went through trying to find your groove and hit those important shots once you got back uh, me just getting my third foul was just, it, it, it really made me mad. Y'all probably see it on the, on the bench, but it made me mad. But I just know my team need me at the end of the day, so I'm going to do what I got to do to help my team. No matter what, how many fouls I got, I'm going to play hard. So I rebound, score. So that's really what it was. Becky you scored a team high 16 points. And we, when you hit that free throw late, just the emotions that erupted out of you. Talk about that. Um, the and one was, 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 felt really good, but I mean, I work on my free throws all the time, so I got confidence in everything I do, getting to the basket, free throws, so I knew it was going to go in from the get-go. I ain't never worried about my free throws, but yeah, getting to the basket, making the and one, shoot, that's, that's what I liked, and I felt good when it happened. Mia? Mia Berry with Anscape last year. You guys are pretty much as dangerous as they come when it comes to the seventh and eighth seeds. Last year fell a little short. This year we're able to pull the upset. How did? What was different about this team to come in, get, be disciplined, and come out with a win? Um, uh, her, uh, my headache. Um, you know, once we did in, just my Didi. But once we get her locked in, um, I told my staff that this is something that I know that we can we can accomplish. And, and she told me that, you know, Coach, you don't have to worry. You know, we got this. And when she says that, what she doesn't know is that I really and truly do trust and believe when she says that. And I felt that even the way that she's been locked in, it's it's, it's – it's not by coincidence that these two young women are sitting next to me because these are two of the hardest workers that we have, you know. Last year we were in this seat last year, but we deserve um, we deserve to be here now because when we leave practice, I got three or four, five, six kids that's in the gym for another 45 minutes after practice. That's the fruit of the labor for these two that's sitting right here. They're always in the gym. and and being relentless and doing the things that they need to do. And I'm not even trying to be politically correct. It's just the work that they put in, they deserve to be here. And and I'm going to ride the way with them for however long that this ship is going to take us. Coach, uh, what was the difference when they, when they stopped to review that out of bounds, the game was tied up, and then you guys just went off like this really quick burst? What did you say in the timeout? What were you hoping would happen compared to, to what you guys actually did coming out of that break? So I think what we did, we didn't look at the score as being tied up really at all because there were a few different lead changes throughout the floor of the game. We just kept saying 0-0. Zero, zero. And if the kids can hear the, the, the zero zero, they know that it's even playing field. And, you know, we talked about being being tough and rebounding and valuing the ball, seeing the game in possessions and having Tia and Didi on the floor at the same time, two point guards, understanding the flow of what you want to be able to do. Um, you can get in the floor of the offense or be able to turn the offense over and let your game come to you. But we make runs, um, you know, we don't respond to runs well sometimes, 
But we make runs, and I knew that we were due for another run. As long as they could see that the score is 0-0, we would make another run. Coach, when you scored three points in the third quarter, just talk about the adjustment in the fourth quarter, what you said leading into the fourth, and that propelled you to be in a winner's circle today. Didi, you answer that. Um, three points during the third quarter, it was more of a everybody relaxed, everybody stopped. But we have to we had to get back to our principles, to our foundation, which is defend first, rebound, and go get it. So I mean we just we just relied on that and I mean we did those things how they really uh, made it a uh, a point to stop our post. So as guards we knew that we had to do the small things and make sure we did them consistently, like going to rebound and, and tipping those balls and getting those balls and getting those extra 50-50 balls, getting on the floor and, and just being grit, just being having a lot of grit, a lot of toughness, mental toughness, and just pushing through, persevering, being re resilient. And then, Coach, when you can get three players to score in double figures, just adding to your, your depth and your strength and your balance, it's a really hard team to stop. No, one thing that um, we haven't showed just yet is that um, – Everybody on this team is capable of scoring the basketball. And they're shaking their head because they believe it and they know it. Um, we put together a great roster this year um, to be able to have some success. And even from the scoring that you saw of Tia Morgan today, you didn't get to see Maya Pete or Mari Davenport. Um, Jaleesa Reese was a kid that we recruited to be a role player for us, and she finishes in, in double scoring digits. So scoring not something that I ever have to worry about. Defending is what I want to keep making sure that we can preach. Any kid on our team can put the ball through the basket. Markeisha Body, who started for us, uh, number one, she just had a career high last Saturday with 20 points. I mean, she had six threes for us. So we are capable of scoring the ball. We gonna talk about defense. We gotta defend. You know, um, to have Maya and, and Maury, and you know, we have two other kids that hadn't played much, Azaria Robertson and Briasia Robertson. We have size, um, and we have size in practice where they go against each other every single day. But that's what you want to be able to have. I think that that's given other teams the competitive edge in this conference is size. So we were really intentional about recruiting that those type of players, stronger guards, bigger guards, um, more depth in at the post. So I would like to think that we're three, two, three deep in at the post. Uh, but, you know, they're young. And, you know, even Mari Davenport, Mari's only played one year of college basketball. Um, so, you know, they, this, they have an upside. These, these young women that you see today, they'll be back here next year in the same seat. We return 11, 12, 13 players next year. So, you know, we designed this for it to be set up like this, and they're all in, they bought in, and they give us a lot of headaches. But we love them, and, and we continue to lift them up and put them on, 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 on the stage that they deserve to be on. Questions? Thank you so much. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Coach, if you could please start us out with an opening statement regarding the game. Um, well, first, I want to congratulate uh, Pine Bluff. I, I thought they played a great game, and um, you know we had a great game plan. We, just, you know, wanted to take the post players out the game, and we did that. But they guard stepped up, they adjusted, and they made big plays. And I think they played really hard, really, really hard tonight. And I just want to congratulate them. You know, I think my uh, young ladies fault. You know, we had chances, but we just didn't connect um, with a couple of open shots that we uh, got. And, you know, as I tell us all the time, we got to be able to make those plays, make tough plays when the game is on the line. Appreciate those. We're going to open it up for questions first for our student athlete. If you have any questions, uh, please just identify yourself. Feel free to ask your question. Hey, I'm my, uh, Carl Freeman with Child Free, WAFF in Huntsville. Um, coach just mentioned it. It just seems like they were, uh, they made tough twos. You all had opportunities to make tough twos. You just didn't have a, uh, an opportunity to get them to fall. Uh, walk us through just, uh, the shots, the shot selection that you had in the half court set, some of your actions, and then more importantly, just not being able to kind of knock those down probably the of the game. 
Uh, most definitely. Uh, that's something we really emphasize throughout practice, throughout the week, uh, that we really need to make sure that we're making those small plays and making those layups, those easy bunnies that uh, are really going to be a game changer. Uh, it's just this game, we kind of just didn't have them falling. Uh, it's not like we weren't expecting that they weren't going to fall. It was just kind of how our night went. Amani, graduate student, final game. Has it kind of sunk in? Have you kind of thought about your career so far? Um, yeah, it has really sunk in a little bit that uh, this is my final collegiate year. Um, it's different knowing that it's kind of just the end, but there's always new beginnings. So I look forward to seeing what my life brings from here on out. Uh, new beginnings, you, the senior group. What do you think, what legacy, what impact have you left on this next generation of players that get to come back for next year? Um, I'm hoping that I left a good impression of leadership and friendship as well. I hope that people realize that I was really dedicated and really implement that into their own selves. Uh, and just know that I really cared about each and every one of us as well as the program and the school. This one's for Coach, the senior group's second seed overall. Can you just talk a little bit about what this season meant to you and watching your seniors go out? Um, actually, this was this a pretty fun season. Uh, we have a new group, and I was a little worried in the beginning how I'm going to bring the chemistry together, but this has probably been my best group as far as the team chemistry. They love each other. They uh, get along, and um, they want each other to be successful, and that's hard to find with women basketball players. So um, this group is very, you know, they, was, they will always hold some dear in my heart because I thought that um, they played hard, they gave it all they got, and they played for each other. Coach, can you kind of talk about what happened really in that final minute of the game where it seemed like we could be going into overtime and all of a sudden they extended it due to just plays that were made down that stretch? Stage was too big. Stage was too big for us. You know, we made um, uh, some crucial turnovers and, you know, just some crucial mistakes, crucial mistakes. We, you know, we didn't get the rebound, you know, just we lost focus and I, I just think the stage got too big for us. Coach. Rourke Chirac, Chirac Media Group. This is the third game, and all three games have been in single digits between you and the APB. And you mentioned about the bigger stage, but just the difference, uh, March Madness, everything changes. Oh, yes. As I told my group, it's 0-0, zero, zero, whether we the two seed or the eighth seed. I mean, I, I again, I think Pine Bluff is one of the most talented teams in the SWAC, and I've always thought that. You know, they have the size, their guards are bigger, they're strong, they're aggressive, they're tough. So, um, you know, and I preached that to my group. So we definitely respected them. We, I told them it's 0-0, zero, zero, and every game been tight since we played them. So I knew this game would be close, and it would come to, you know, probably a bucket or two. Is that the frustrating part, Coach, just the fact that some of those the tough twos that they made down the stretch, you had the opportunities with, you know, some of the actions that you had in the half court to be able to make those, just, they just did not fall. Yes, I, I thought we had took good shots, and I thought our players, um, you know, I was confident, and I just told them keep shooting it, and, you know, and, you know, just like when Imani shot that three, rolled in, rolled out, you know, she usually makes that. Uh, but, yeah, but, I, you know, again, I, I, was, I was glad that they executed, and they did what I, we, we asked them to do, and, hey, it just didn't go our way today. Imani, this was a relatively new team after the transition of the players from last year to this year. How proud are you of the squad for basically getting back here and being a two seed and going through the season the way it did? I know today's result isn't what you wanted, but how proud are you of the team for basically starting over and getting to where you got to? I'm tremendously proud of this group. Um, I'm new myself coming here. Um, and knowing that each and every one of these ladies just dedicated themselves and worked hard, not only through the summer, but throughout the season. Um, I think it's just really amazing to see how much we've grown together and really gelled throughout this year. Now, Mike, for you to come with, in this program, and you have to have some sort of trust and buy-in, right, with coaching staff, the university as a whole. As you leave the university, how encouraging you just with respect to the student athletes moving, moving on or coming into the program uh, that believes in uh, Coach Richardson uh, from what uh, you've been around for the last year plus? I think that just being here, um, knowing that belief and that someone's going to believe in you is just something that's implemented here at Alabama A&M. Um, I felt that immediately as I transferred here when Coach was recruiting me. Um, I don't think there's any place else that's really made me feel like home besides here. For Coach, mm -hmm. uh, you've been a two-seed since the last couple of years. 
it's one thing to you know be an eight or whatever, try to sneak into the tournament. How encouraged are you just with where the program is today? That's that it says a lot to be a two seed in the regular <laughs> season. Obviously, try to get over the hump in the tournament, but just where this program is and how you envision it today, and of course moving forward. Um, well, as as we know, we we are good enough to be a two seed, but I need to get this group to be able to advance. So moving forward, we, we have to make sure, uh, my staff and I, that we are doing the things we can do so we can be able to be playing our best basketball in March and not making those silly mistakes. You know, have the veterans out there and being prepared more to do that. So that's what I want to take this time to be able to do um, when we, you know, finish up. But yes, so we can advance. And I am proud of this group. Thank you so much. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.